All right guys, today we put pretty much every adhesive on the market to the test. It's been done before, but never on this scale. This one's set to be gripping, so don't go anywhere. Stick around to see who takes the crown. Two beads of adhesive will be applied for each of our products so that they all receive a fair test and a fair amount of adhesive onto the substrate. And press down hard with a clamp so that we know each one has a complete and fair contact. Each one of these products will be left for 48 hours to make sure that they're properly stuck to give them all a fair chance of sticking to the substrate. We'll be using a bucket of water on a chain and that way we'll be able to weigh exactly how much weight each one of these adhesives holds. A bit like we did on my plasterboard fixing video. There'll be a pop-up somewhere at the top of the screen now if you want to go and check that one out once you've finished watching this one. Today's video is not sponsored by any of these products and they will all receive a fair test to see which one is the strongest adhesive out of the bunch. And it's going to be really interesting to see if some of the souped up adhesives such as the Grip Fill Extra or the turbo versions of the sticks like to see if they really do give you extra for your extra money. Let's crack on because I can't wait to see who wins this test. Put your bets in the description below. Who do you think is going to win? So first on our list is going to be the Grip Fill Solvent Free. Coming in at £3.99, it's one of the cheaper adhesives that we'll be testing today. Whoa, there she goes. Not as much weight as I thought. I'm gonna say probably about 10 kilos, but let's weigh it and see. So Grip Fill Solvent Free has come in at 9.8. That weren't a bad guess, I said about 10. All right, so moving on to the Grip Fill Max next at eight pounds 99. My guess is double. It's double the money, so it's gonna hold double the weight. 20 kilos is my guess. Whoa. There she goes. That held a lot more than I expected. It's a partial substrate failure on this one, but I think that's held. It's got to be coming up to 30 kilos. Let's give it away. 27.8. That's quite impressive. Double the money, about double the weight. Next up we have the Gorilla. Nice shiny packaging, but coming in at seven pound, will it be worth its money? So now I'm gonna cheat, partially to speed up the process and partially to save water, we're gonna bang in a 20 kilo weight straight away. Let's hope it holds it, otherwise it's gonna make the test a little bit inconclusive. But I think Gorilla will hold it. I was right. Come on Gorilla, I expect big things from this one. Wow, that has torn a hell of a lot of layers away from that plywood. I don't know what weight that's held, but it's quite a lot. So let's give it away. 41.5. That is a hell of a lot of weight. Gorilla Grab Adhesive at seven pound is leading the way so far. No more nails next, four pound. So not the most expensive in the world. It's a bit of a household name. That is a partial substrate failure, but not nearly as much as the Grip Fill Max or the, uh, the Gorilla. So a lot of that is the adhesive actually failing. Let's see what it held. 24.4. Not bad, but obviously the price is half the price of some of these, does it? At four pound, that's obviously half the price of some of the others. So, um, you know, it's done quite a good job for the price. So next up, we've got No Nonsense, Not Nails from Screwfix at 3.99. Let's see how that does. We'll start off with water again on this one. Quite impressed with this one so far for 3.99. That's holding a lot of weight. Let's see what this one held. 26.7. Quite impressed with that for 3.99. It actually split the softwood that it was attached to. So it was more of a substrate failure than it was an adhesive failure. So next up, we've got Pink Grip, £3.99, and a product that I use a lot. So I'm hoping it does well, or I could be proven wrong. So that has not held as much as I thought. That's actually broke the adhesive 
rather than the substrate. That's quite interesting. Let's see what it held. 23.1. Okay, I'm surprised. I thought Pink Grip was gonna do a bit better than that. But having said that, it is only £3.99, so if you're using a lot of it, maybe that's a good option to go with. Next up, the dog's is coming in at 9.99. Packaging's good, but will the product be good? Let's wait and see. I'm gonna stick a 20 kilo weight in this one to start with. Or well, at least I'm going to try to because I think this one's going to hold quite a bit. Um, so partially a substrate failure and partially an adhesive failure. Quite surprised at that. Let's see what it's held. 29.4. That's quite a lot of weight but I for some reason, probably because of the name, expected it to do a little bit better. Next up we've got Sticks All, another one I've used a lot of and another hybrid polymer. I've got good hoops for this one, coming in at £6.29, not that expensive either. That one made me jump. That held quite a lot of weight. 39.8. So that's quite impressive and I'm quite pleased with that because that's a product that I use quite a lot. Right, next up we've got X8 coming in at 9.99. My assistant here uses this quite a lot and he reckons it's quite a good product. So let's find out. So that's done quite well. Let's give it away and see what it held. And it's held 29.7. So one of the more expensive products and it's held a reasonable amount of weight but not quite as much as something like the sticks all. So sticks like next. Let's see if it sticks or if it Yeah, that's stuck. That is nowhere, that's not not at all. That has ripped a massive chunk out of the ply and that's a substrate failure. So that one, I expect that to have held maybe even 40 kilos. Let's give it away. 34.9. That is pretty impressive for £6.69. Guys, before we go any further, all the products we're testing today, there'll be links below in the description so that you can go and buy them yourself. Right, so we're on to grip fill now at £2.99. I don't know why, but I haven't got a huge amount of hope for it. Maybe I'm wrong, let's see. Yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna go. That's completely failed. With not very much weight in the bucket. Let's give it away and see what it held. 15.1 kilos, so not very impressive. Really weird, that's still tacky. That's actually been on there a few days. It was a little bit better than the solvent free version but overall I'm not that impressed with that. We'll move on to the grip fill extra now, £4.29. So it's a little bit more money. Let's see if you get any extra. That is a completely different type of substance but it is a adhesive failure, not a substrate failure and if anything it might have even held less. Let's weigh it. 11.4. So you didn't get any extra. In fact, you got less. So next up, we have the most expensive product in our test today. And that is the OB-1 at 14.99. Will the force be with him? Star Wars fans, you'll get the joke. Because we've got high expectations, we'll start off with a 20 kilo weight. 20 kilograms in the bucket already. Let's start. I'm surprised at that. I mean, that's took a lot of the substrate away, but it hasn't um, held much weight at all. Let's weigh it and see what it held. 24, exact, 24 kilograms, exactly. Not bad, but for the money, it's not a product that I'm gonna be using. Now, £5.49, we've got multi-stick. Will it be a bit of a bargain, or will we leave it on the shelf? So it actually ripped the softwood apart. So it's kind of been a partial adhesive failure and partially a substrate failure. Let's see what it held. 17.8, not bad, 
but for £5.49 I would have liked to have seen a little bit more performance. I'm quite enjoying this test so far, it's been quite interesting and there's been a few surprises. If you guys are enjoying the video, before we do any more, make sure you hit the like button for me and make sure that if you like DIY stuff, you hit the subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on all the great stuff that I've got to come on the channel. Next up we've got the cheapest one on our list at £2.49 instant nails. Let's see if it's going to be a bargain. Instant nails actually held more than I thought. Let's weigh it and see how much it held. So 21.1 one. Not bad for £2.49 I must say. It's a bit of a bargain, you can see there it was an adhesive failure rather than a substrate failure. Yeah for £2.49 I'm quite impressed with that. Right next up we've got sticks like turbo. Now are we going to get more for our money? So the normal sticks like held 34.9 kilograms. We're now going to test the sticks like turbo for £8.49 so it's more money, will it hold more weight? We'll start off with a 20 kilogram weight. Ah, but before I add too much water, check out the link in the description to the Patreon group. We've got a group over there of great guys who all support each other on different projects over on the Discord group. Click on the link, head over there and check it out if you want to support the channel. So we've got mostly an adhesive failure there and not a substrate failure. Quite surprised at that. Let's weigh it and see if it gave us any turbo for our money. It's got to be 34.9 that the original did. Oh, 35.1. So yes, you did get a little bit more for your money, but not enough to justify the price in my opinion. But let me know what you think. Maybe you think it's worth the extra few quid. Next up, we've got PGB at £12.95. It's quite an expensive one this and it's a strange blue colour so maybe that means it's going to do really well. Let's stick some water in there and give it a test. That has not done very well at all. It stayed really tacky. Yeah, I don't think that's held very much. Let's give it away and find out. 241 so not awful, but for £13. Next up is the Soodle Fix All. Will it fix all or will it fix anything? £6.99, let's see. I can hear it creaking, but it hasn't failed yet. Any time? No. Okay, so that was a complete substrate failure. Let's have a look, Soodle Fix All, 32. 0.7. For 6 99 that is pretty good. Good value for money. Right, cheapest one that we're going to be testing today, the No Nonsense Grab Adhesive at £2.25. I can't say I'm expecting massive performance from it, but for £2.25, let's see, maybe it's going to be a bargain. Wow, the camera actually got wet that time. Um, right, so that much like the grip fill is a complete adhesive failure. No substrate failure at all. Let's weigh it and see what it held. 14.1. Not the worst on the list. So for 225, if you don't need to hold massive amount of weight, maybe it could uh, find its place in the tool bag. Second most expensive and a lot of people's favorite, CT1. Is it gonna be any good? 20 kilos to start. I've got a hand above my head because I don't want to get hit in the head if it does let us down. So 20 kilos, holds 20 kilos straight off the bat. Let's start adding some water. Will CT1 be a clear winner? Wow, that went with a bang. I think that's held quite a lot of weight. We might have a new winner. Let's weigh it and find out. So Gorilla leads the way at the moment at 41.5. Can CT1 knock it off the top spot? 40.1. So not quite take second place. So at 40.1, it's clearly a very good product. Didn't quite knock Gorilla off the top spot. And you've got to consider that Gorilla is only seven pounds. I'd probably know which one I'd pick. 
it really does come down to what you're using the products for. If you're just sticking a few skirting boards on, for example, you could probably get away with one of the cheaper products. But if you do need that little bit more performance, then probably worth going with something like the CT1, the Sticks All, or the Gorilla Adhesive, because they clearly are more expensive, but also have some real top-notch performance. I'm amazed that I've got away with this without getting too wet. Maybe that's because most of these products are clearly very over-engineered. Most of them really have exceeded my expectations. Let me know what you use and what surprised you in the comments below. And um, if you like videos like this, click on one of the videos that will pop up somewhere on the screen now because you're probably going to like those ones as well. That's it from me. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one.